Hey, 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 Texas Studies students. This is Coach Signs once again. Today's video lesson, we're going to talk about Chapter 4 and the Three Eras of Prehistoric Texas. We're going to start off today's lesson with historians. Now, historians divide the past into eras to easily identify changes in historical events. All right. Now, as we're going on through today's video lesson, make sure that you're following along and listening to what the what word has to go into uh, each blank. Okay. Now, historians divide the past into eras to easily identify changes in historical events. Right. Now, as we learned about debut yesterday, historian is a, someone who studies and writes history. So. Historians divide the past into areas so they can know which era belongs to what and how things have changed. As seen in this picture here, each one of these books, each one of these books represents a different era in history. Now, historians divided the prehistoric eras into three different eras. The first era we're going to talk about today is the Paleo-Indian era. Now the Paleo-Indian era which ranges from 10,000 BC to 5,500 BC. Now in case you're not familiar what, with what uh, BC stands for as it is right there, BC stands for before Christ or before the birth of Jesus right there. Anything before the birth of Christ is known as B.C., as it is there. So that means anything before that way is known as B.C., before Christ. Now, in the Paleo-Indian era, people were nomads. Uh, if you remember from the previous lesson, people that don't have a permanent home. They move from place to place. Now, these people were nomads who hunted huge animals, such as mammoth using flint spears, as you can see here in this picture. Now, the nomads, or the people in the Paleo-Indian era, how they hunted is they would use these flint spears, as you can see here. They're holding them here, and they're throwing them on the back of this mammoth here. They were made out of sticks, right, which is a flint material, a light material that they're able just to launch and throw as hard as they can. That way it can penetrate the hard skin slash, slash the rough terrain of these woolly mammoths. Later on in the video lesson, we'll be talking about different weapons that they used to survive throughout the years. Now, to go on with our lesson, did you know archaeologists found the bones of a Paleo-Indian woman near Midland, Texas? That's right, in our very own state, up here in the west, western part of the state. They named her Midland Minnie because of how small she was. Now, this is not the actual... Uh, place where they found her right here this is not the actual site but this is just to give you an idea of what archaeologists do when they find bone remains and things like that so this is when they found not exactly when they found her but this is how or a similar idea of how they found her now moving on to our next era which is called the archaic era the archaic era lasted between 5500 BC all the way through 700 AD now you're probably thinking, what does A.D. stands for? A.D. stands for Anno Domini. That is, in the year of our Lord. Now, Jesus Christ, after he was born, after Jesus Christ was born, we switched over to A.D., Anno Domini. Anno Domini, excuse me. Now, from then on, every year was counted. So, A.D. stands for after Jesus Christ was born. So, we are in the present year of 2016. So we would be considered 2016 A.D., the year of our Lord, 2016. Anything afterwards or before he was born would be considered B.C. But now we're here, 2016. Now to continue on with our archaic era, since all giant animals became extinct after the Paleo-Indian era, what they did is they started hunting smaller animals, such as buffalo and deer. Now, as you can see here, uh, they are dressed in sheep 
faking, uh, not sheep, excuse me, dressed as wannabe wolves so they can get close, real close to the buffalo. And they're able to hunt it down and kill it. He's, we'll continue learning about the buffalo later on in a few days and weeks and how important these animals were to this era and to the Indians. But as we can see here, they're getting closer and closer to attack them. Now, the weapon of choice in this archaic era was the atlatl, as we can see here. All right. Now, the atlatl, which is the weapon here, this was a long, long piece of wood with, uh, excuse me, arrowheads for, uh, on the on the end. As you can see here, here's a projectile point, the atlatl thrower, and the weight. Now, this was a very, uh, I could you could say beginning steps towards the bow and arrow. This one was thrown. Here they would put their arm back as far as possible and then sling that thing hard to be able to penetrate the skin and hide of deers and animals. This was a weapon of choice in this era and it would be going fast. Not as fast as the bow and arrow which we'll learn here shortly but still make a very very penetrable uh, hurtful thought and hurtful strike to any animal that they hunted. Now, now while the men hunted and tried to gather food and get food for the families, the women, the women gathered food such as seeds and berries. As we can see here, here we have women that are out there going out in horses, horseback, picking seeds and berries to bring back to the tent, to the nomadic village where they're staying for the night. Now, that was their job. The men would go out and hunt the big game, which was the deers, the buffalo, things like that, while the women would get the seeds and the berries, and they would bring other things, smaller things, to be able to have for dinner that night. Now, did you know archaeologists found the remains of a man from the Archaic Era in 1829? As you can see here, this man was found in Abilene, Texas. It's in the northern... Great Plains of Texas, the northern Great Plains, right there, Abilene, right? They ended up naming him Abilene Man. Just like Midland Mini, they found him here and they named him Abilene Man. Now, going on to number three, our last late prehistoric era. Now, this era was between 700 A.D., the year of our Lord, through 1500 A.D., now, in this prehistoric era, people began using the land for farming corn and other crops. We can see here, this family is now living in a closer area, and they're using the terrain to live here and to actually survive here. As we can see here, she's making food. They've gathered food here, and they've planted food out there throughout the terrain. Now, along with this comes the bow and arrow, as we can see here, this gentleman holding it. Now, the bow and arrow was used not only to hunt deer, but also hunt to bring down buffalo. Buffalo traveled in packs, and they had to use stronger, more efficient, more accurate weapons to hunt them down as they're running. And the bow and arrow becomes a huge tool for the late prehistoric era and how to develop. This concludes our lesson on the three prehistoric eras of Texas, Chapter 4. This is Coach Signs. Signing out.